Well, I was watching uh, Woody's video about sun-dried tomatoes. And I was thinking to myself, I haven't done sun-dried tomatoes this year. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what to do with these these tomatoes. They've been fantastic this year. These are uh, what's this side is um, crimson crush and Meccanos over here. More of your classic shaped tomatoes than the others I've been growing. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna get the old dehydrator out and do some sun dried tomatoes. It's been a fantastic year for them, I tell you. Elvis Costello might have said it's a good year for the roses, but Digwell says it's been a good year for the tomatoes. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Right. I'll tell you what, there's a few more to come on here yet. I'm not going to get many green tomatoes this year. I'm sure of it. In fact, I think everyone I can see is on the way to ripening, so... Yeah. That one is, that one may be, but it's the two around it are tinging pink, so they'll be all right, probably. That's a bit soft, that one, so I'll have to eat that one. I'll leave those little ones at the back, they're good for salads on the strings there. Yeah, that's about, yeah, I don't want to use those because they're special. Yeah, that'll do. Well, not a bad load of tomatoes. I'll tell you what, it's been a good year for the tomatoes, like I just said, but. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them in this, um, what make is it? Uh, Cook's Professional uh, Dehydrator. It's not a bad one this actually, it's a, it's a budget one if you know what I mean. But with the trays, you can see which trays I've used more than the rest. A little bit dirty actually, but anyway. Um, with these trays you can, see that's the low profile. But if you've got something that thick you're going to dehydrate, you just turn them around 90 degrees. Oh, like that, and they're higher, see? So you can get things that are like, oh, I don't know nearly an inch thick in there then. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start slicing, load the trays up on the low setting and I'll plug it in. Um, let's get these out of the way. We've had a quick wipe and it's just had a shower as well so all we're going to do is slice about a quarter inch thick, six mil. Don't want them too thin, don't want them too thick. Now the problem I've got is um, these will stick to the tray a little bit. They always do. You can get the, the professional ones, they've got, they got mats in them and all sorts, you know. But I can't stretch to that. This will do for me. Oops. Try to keep them the same size, he says. Let's get rid of a bit of that. Try to keep them the same size so they all dry out at the same rate. And if you've got um, the end bits, Put those skin side down to stop them sticking. Yeah, these sort of tomatoes, probably get four slices out of them. Try not to let them touch because you get the airflow between them then. And when we get going, I'm going to stick it on about 55 degrees. I can't remember what the settings are on this one now, so I'll have a go and I'll show you when we get there. Oh. I get that one more in there, I think that'll do, won't it? Yeah. Maximise the space, you know what I mean? So I'll get these two little bits in there, that'll do. See, that's what we got. And I'll leave that there and I'll just stack the rest up and I'll bring it back when they're all later, all ready to go. <laughs> it doesn't matter if they touch, they, they soon shrink a little bit anyway. Okay then, we got five racks in in the end. So one with the lid. And on with the power. Now, if I remember from last time, this flickers like mad, so you may not be able to see what I'm doing. So, time we're going to go for 18 hours, and then temperature 
You can see that. I'm gonna go, oh, what's that say, 60, that'll do, 60 degrees. Yeah, might as well put it in the greenhouse because all this wasted warm air coming out here can heat the greenhouse rather than the atmosphere, you know what I mean? So let's get that in there. Right, here we go, guys, that was about, I'm gonna say 20 odd hours because I was a bit careless with me cutting up, so some of them were a bit thicker than others. So they're all crispy. Let me have a nice and crispy. I'm just taking the last few off here now. Still warm, so I want to get on with this pretty quick because I want to use it again. But yeah, nice and crispy. Now, there are a couple still soggy, so I'll just leave those in while I'm doing the chilies and I'll add them later. There's no point having it all going just for those tiny little pieces there, you know what I mean? So, yeah, nice, 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 nice. Cool. Right, and what I'm going to do with these, these are going into this kilner jar. Ideal time to use your old seals because you don't want a perfect, you know, uh, perfect airtight seal with these. You can use the old ones. Now, I haven't got any little bags of the old desiccated stuff that you get with electronic equipment these days, so I'm putting a bag of rice in. Really, really good way of soaking up moisture or preventing moisture. In with the tomatoes. Hope they all fit. Yeah. That's a bit rubbery, that one, so I'll leave that one. Right. And there we are, guys. That's it. I mean, that is... All those tomatoes are in there, so nice and concentrated. Okay, taking advantage of the uh, the, the weather. Right, I'm just going to pick a few more of these uh, padrons. I'm going to dry these. I've just been reading, they're supposed to pick the padrons when they're green, but I've been using them red, doesn't seem any difference to me. What a prolific plant though, I tell you. I'll show you in a second once I've got all these off. <coughs> Yeah, there's no point leaving them too much longer now. It's, it's getting cooler, even though they're still growing like mad. But the uh, the cold nights are coming in and they, it's not going to last much longer. So I'm going to dry these. Whew. And I've already told Sam next door that the, uh, the chili supply will be drying up. She takes them every couple of days. So... And I don't mind giving them away either. I'm sure I saw one more there somewhere. There he is. Oh, another. I'll get these done and then I'll move on to the others. Oh, crikey, there's loads. Some little distended ones down the bottom. But This is certainly the way to grow them, though, I tell you. I'll leave those little ones and I'll see if they get any bigger. So I'm sure that's one. There's one in there. Look, crikey! <laughs> yeah, that's all the big. Oh, one. See, they're hiding. Trouble with the green ones. You can't see them with the leaves. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah, that do. Look at that lot. Look at that lot. Ooh, ooh, all off that one little bush. I've got to get on with the uh, Onivetchers in a minute, and then oh god, the Cayans. Oh. And the Anaheims. Oh, do, I could do the Anaheims now, actually, because they're a different shape. And we'll, we'll get them mixed up. So, okay, then it's chilli time now. Now, we've already air-dried some of the longer chilies when the weather was nice. Ooh, and I've air-dried some of the um, Onivec. Onivec. I, know, I have to learn how to pronounce that. It's either Onivec or Onivec. I've air-dried some of those as well. There's no chance of air-drying properly now with the sun's gone in, so... These are the ones I just picked out the front. I'll tell you what, what a cracking load we got here. These longer ones I'll do first because these are the Anaheims. I'll just do those quickly. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's all of those. And I'll do those afterwards. So, similar sort of thing, but what I'm doing this time, take the tops off and just split them lengthways. I don't want them whole, there's no point. Yeah, so these, I'm going to leave the seeds in and just, same as before really, I'm going to cut them so the curve is <laughs> lying flat, if you know what I mean. There we are. So they're not stood up on their end. Like that. Yeah. 
There you go. Don't know if you can hear that noise, that whistling in the background, but that's the old dust man, dust cart, whatever they call them these days. I don't know what the politically, politically correct phrase is these days. Used to be called the dustbin men. I suppose they still are. Anyway. Right, so this is the Anaheims. There should be a few more of these in a couple of weeks' time, but I want to get these done now, just in case the, the frost suddenly appears one night. Let's get that over there. And get those tomatoes back on, that's what I was doing. These will probably end up like um, peppery smelling tomatoes. <laughs> right, that's that one. Next. And I'll do a few of these and um, bring you back when they're all done. These are the padrons. Just... I've seen this one. This is fantastic. <laughs> I'm going to save that one. Let's do a green layer. Right, just harvested some chilies from the front front garden. Brought them out the back to film on the table. A couple of onovetch, uh, four of them. Lovely pepper. Um, I'll probably save one of these, or take the seeds out of a couple of these to save. But these are the padron, and these are nice. Um, they're a bit of a surprise in pepper type chilli. Sometimes they're warm, sometimes they're not. Anyway, so we got this one, we got this one. Look at this one. <laughs> Two together on one stalk. Never seen that before. Well, I suppose I have with tomatoes as a mega bloom. But that certainly, uh, you know, puts one up to society, doesn't it? <laughs> Isn't that weird? I have to photograph that and use it as a thumbnail somehow. <laughs> Well, that's them all done. And do you remember the tomato one? I said the tomato will stick a little bit. Well, they have, and it'll be all right. Don't worry about that. So that'll do, lid on. And that will be going back in the greenhouse another 18 hours, 60 odd degrees. And as a bonus, I've got loads of seeds. So I'll be sending some of these away. Padron seeds should be all right. I mean, they are mature fruits, so. Right, let's get this on. Oh, it's cooled down now anyway, but. Yeah, chuff with that. Some nice, uh, nice tomatoes in there. Brilliant. Let's get this plugged in then, and uh, what? Well, bring you back when this is all dried out. Well, here we are then. It's a day later. That was 18 hours at 60 for these. These uh, peppers and chilies. So I've already taken the um, Anaheim out. Going to give them a little dropping around. I think it's 60 degrees. I think the seeds should be all right. So I'm just going to let them drop around a bit. Plenty of seeds in there. Same with the padron. In fact, I'll do them in the big bowl, yeah. But I've just shaken the first tray off. And I'll just show you what we've got already. I mean, crikey, they're falling out everywhere. Nice and dry again. We don't want leathery ones because they're, they're, they're prone to uh, rotting. So, I mean, that was... <sighs> this is what's fallen out from just one tray, look. So I'm sure they'll be all right. Uh, we won't know till next year, but <laughs> let's give it a go. That's the one tray done. I'm just going to pick each one up in turn just to make sure they are. Yeah, they're all crispy. Yeah, with the tomatoes, see, one or two were a bit leathery. Now these are good. Cool, cool, cool. And then after this, I've got some... Um, Ooh, what do you call them? Uh, Onivec to, to do. So that's it then. Loads of preserved peppers this year. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Look at this, seeds everywhere. They're going to be growing in the garden. 
Right, let's get those indoors because they're getting damp. It's dripping on me. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed that guys, catch you later, I'm getting wet here. I'm devoted to the cause, you know this, don't you? <laughs> See you next time. If you ever, um, you ever trying to impress your friends and eat a hot chilli, what you do, let me just show you this. This part of the chilli here is called the placenta. And this is where the seeds start to grow and they grow down. So this is the hottest part of a chili. So if you ever want to impress your friends with a, a chili that you know you can handle but they can't, you eat this bit here and you offer them this bit here. <laughs> I might have done that a few times at work. <laughs> the fun we had in the workshop. last lot. Seems a bit unproductive just doing these few but I want to keep them separate. <laughs>